Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to look at um, microbit controlling LEGO motors, uh, and uh, in particular LEGO Technique power function motors, and using the uh, LEGO Technique power function IR protocol. And this is um, the last and the fourth of a series on the controlling LEGO motors. Okay, so uh, as before, we'll uh, go around the mind map, describing uh, what the um, IR control is. We'll have a look at some technical details. Uh, some of the software, one of the projects, and um, I'll uh, do a critique overall on using the uh, LEGO IR controller and I'll um, give you some references at the end. So um, what is it? Well, uh, this LEGO IR controller is controlling LEGO technique models or LEGO trains. A bit like this one over here shows you a um, Volvo front a loader, and it's actually got quite a number of motors on it. And uh, the um, LEGO... IR receiver has two outputs. It's got a, a red and a blue channel, and you can connect um, two motors on each of those. So there's uh, independent control up to about eight functions in a model, and um, the uh, controls correspond to the hand held or the handset uh, that you'd normally get. Now, the cost of the uh, LEGO IR receiver is around about, say, $25 um, on eBay. Okay, so a little bit more on that um, loader. Uh, it includes in the model quite a number of motors. So you're getting a servo motor, an XL, a large, a medium motor. So that's one, two, three, four motors. And to do all that, you get two remote controls, and two infrared receivers. It's actually quite a lot to control. It takes a bit of skill. Uh, the advantage is that you can both move the uh, loader uh, on the ground, and you can also um, manipulate the, um, uh, the bucket. So I've got one of those, and um, I don't have the skills manually, but um, if I uh, use a computer, Perhaps I can get the computer to do all the sequences. Okay, a little bit about the uh, powering. Um, I'm using at the moment on this demonstration a battery box, and it has four wires, the uh, nine volt and the ground or the zero volts, and in the middle there's C1 and C2. And what the uh, remote receiver does, once it gets a signal, it can route the... Um, messages uh, or power to uh, C1 and C2 on the red and the blue. So it delivers those on C1 and C2. And um, there's a special protocol which is now open uh, that um, LEGO has released. And um, you can see the structure of the communications uh, packet here. Now, um, there's actually two of those communications packets. This is the uh, the first one. There's also an extended packet, and uh, that looks like this. But you don't have to worry about that because um, there's plenty of um, implementations, both on the Arduino and also on the um, MakeCode platform that um, implements all of this for you. It saves you uh, doing all this bit-level programming. And for uh, the software in this demonstration, I'm going to use Microsoft's MakeCode. So you just add an extension uh, to your uh, toolbox, and you get all the um, uh, commands that um, are able to carry out all of those um, bit manipulations. And for the project that I'm working on, I'll go through the 
the objective, uh, a design feature, the hardware, the software. I'll give you the results and uh, we'll talk about some issues and I'll give you the references right at the end. So the objective um, that I was interested in doing was to see if I could actually use the Lego IR remote uh, and see if Microbit could control it. And um, would the um, Lego IR receiver accept IR packets from Microbit? I wanted to also explore the IR receiver. Uh, and I had um, a couple of these, uh, slightly different. And I'm wondering how they will perform. I wanted to examine the uh, LEGO IR protocol, uh, more for a matter of interest, but I'll be using the higher level commands and programming. And um, I wanted to also explore how I could use a micro bit um, control version uh, with LEGO Technique kits, like the Volvo loader, and also on Lego trains. So uh, on this design, I'm using a micro bit, and uh, for button A, it toggles the state of the motor. So it's either in the forward or the reverse direction, and button B controls the state of the Lego LED. It'll either be on or off. And um, if I want to turn everything off, just press button A and B together. So for hardware, I'm using version two of Microbit, although it would still work on version one. I'm using the uh, Seed Studio Bitmaker, and uh, this is the uh, version two. And you can see both of those on the uh, diagram. Uh, I'm going to add to Bitmaker a Grove IR emitter. And this is where I get um, my signals to control the uh, LEGO motors. And on the uh, LEGO Technique side, I'm going to use a battery box, an IR receiver, power functions LED, uh, three cables, and um, a uh, power functions M or medium motor. And how is it all wired together? Well, we start off with the micro bit connected to a PC, that'll do the programming. Uh, but we also need to provide independent power to the uh, Bitmaker. So Bitmaker um, hosts Microbit, and onto uh, Bitmaker, we connect the Grove IR emitter on port two. Then once we've done that, we just add the um, Lego devices and uh, you can see the um, Lego IR receiver here and its connections. Okay, uh, now for the software. I'm using MakeCode, and this is the overall software. Not, not that complicated. Uh, the uh, extension for the Lego IR receiver um, manages all the complexity for me. So let's just have a, a look through it. On starter, we uh, configure the driver for Microbit on port two, and we set up um, uh, the variables, uh, motor direction and LED state. So when we press button A, uh, if it's forward, we um, use the red port uh, and we set the motor speed to seven in a forward direction. And if it's in, in reverse, we use the um, the blue port. That should be blue. And uh, we just reverse the direction. And um, with B, press button B, we just toggle the state of the LED and turn on the uh, remote Lego LED. Press buttons A and B together, and it turns everything off. And if you go through those, I'm also showing the status of the received command uh, on Microbit's LED array. In this case, S for stop. Okay, so what are the results? Well, I was able to um, uh, successfully demonstrate the use of Microbit with the Lego R, RI receiver. 
uh, I explored a couple of them, and uh, one of them didn't work, which is quite interesting. But I noticed the one that didn't work uh, didn't have clear labels for the ports. The one that did work, the ports were labelled red and blue. I was able to understand the um, the protocol, although I won't be using that very often. And um, I've had a look at various IR receivers, and uh, the, here we go with the uh, one which was unmarked. Uh, I still haven't explored all of the applications that um, I'll be putting this to use, but um, this will be able to um, make some of that LEGO modelling a little bit more interesting. So um, I'll uh, just looking at the critique. You can use this on existing LEGO kits, which is good. So you can add a little bit of um, value and a bit of um, interest to that. And it, just with the one uh, IR control, uh, receiver, you can control up to eight functions. Uh, just have to be careful that there are different versions of that IR receiver, and not all will work with the um, uh, make code extension or the LEGO IR receiver. And um, you've got to also be careful that you um, uh, may obstruct the IR path, so you wouldn't want to use this on, say, signals or anything which was critical. And um, unfortunately, uh, LEGO no longer support this version of the Power Functions IR receiver. OK, here are some of the references for following up. Plenty of technical details, and you can really get into the um, uh, detail uh, of how everything works. Okay, so stay tuned, and I'll give you a, a demonstration of uh, this. If you're already familiar with um, LEGO techniques, you might be using the LEGO Power Function modules. So uh, this is an older generation, uh, and uh, you can see the power modules on the back here. We've got the uh, battery box, and um, I can turn that on and off by this button. Uh, on the front, we've got um, a uh, Lego Technique IR receiver, and uh, it's flanked on the left and the right with um, two Lego LEDs mounted in uh, these Lego uh, modules and um, on the right we've got a um, Lego M model M motor and uh, normally you would just use a uh, infrared controller like this one so everything's on channel one and uh, to turn on the motor we just simply use the dial and we can change the speed and stop it with the red button and if we want to turn the lights we can just uh, press the dial and uh, increase the brightness and again press the button to uh, to stop it now instead of um, using the uh, lego remote infrared remote control we're going to use a um, micro bit micro bit is connected here to bitmaker board and on port 2, we've connected a Grove IR emitter, which transmits a signal from here to the receiver over there. And uh, I've already programmed it so that when I press button A, it will um, turn on the motor. So it's going forward. And I've, pressed bu I've programmed button A to toggle between forward and reverse. So we can go the other direction, that's the reverse, and I can turn on the um, uh, lights with button B. So you can see the lights are now turned on, and uh, again that, that toggles. L on the array means lights are on, and X means that the lights are off. And uh, if I'm able to control both A and B together, we stop it. We stop everything. And that's um, Microbit with Bitmaker and Grove IR Emitter 
controlling the uh, LEGO Technic power function modules.